another episode of the CP Podcast. I'm your host, CP, and uh, this is the CP Podcast, named after me. We talk about shit we want to talk about. You don't like it? Click the fuck on, bitch. But anyway, uh, we are back for another episode, man. I'm so happy that we got Maya in the house again. Give it up for Maya. Mommy, Maya. Brr, 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 brr. You look great. You didn't have no baby. Why are you lying? Did you just clone something? What do you guys got going on? You look exactly the same. That's and, sweet. I know you're a liar, but that's Oh, sweet. whatever. What? Tony, can you back me up, please? We had a baby. We're tired. Wow, man. Is he sleeping? He's sleeping y- now. He's sleeping, yeah. I mean, I'm up every night Ooh. with him. I'm doing so. Mine does everything. Don't you guys feel weird? Like, don't you guys feel like you guys should get some sleep while he's sleeping? Because if you are missing his sleep, then it's like, fuck, we're missing a good opportunity to get some. Damn, he gonna be up with y'all. Hey, where, where were you guys at? Oh, <laughs> let's play Monopoly. You know, he doesn't saying? sleep enough. I'll say that he, he sleeps sleep. not enough. But is he growing? He's growing. Oh yeah, he's, growing, he's fine. Him, he's getting man. as much sleep as he needs. He's he gonna be bigger than the mirror in a minute. He started smiling at us. <laughs> For real? Oh, it's so good. He's oh, awesome. man. Oh, yeah. Those smiles are like a thousand bucks. Oh, it's great. You, you ever just get somebody to give you a thousand bucks? You be like, oh, thank you for the thousand. <laughs> That's how it feels. You get a smile or those little hugs or like when they when they grab your finger and squeeze your finger, you be like, oh, my God. Well, you, if you fucking love me, then fine. I guess I work as hard as I can. For the rest of my life to fucking make you moderately <laughs> happy, I guess, if that's what you need me to do. Yeah, my dad's here. This is his seventh grandson. Seventh grandson. Wow. Very lucky. That's a good Jesus. number. Hell yeah, that's a good number. What is he, seven grandsons? What is he like? Uh, 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 fucking Red Arbach or something? <laughs> Who is this guy? You know what I'm saying? No granddaughters. No granddaughters. He, he's, he's, he's probably a tough little son of a bitch too. You don't need granddaughters. <laughs> You got pistols and bullets. You don't need granddaughters. All his grandsons, shoot. I'm tired, Grandpa, but that's too damn bad. Ah. He's from the island. That's too damn bad. Uh, oh, it needed bad. to be said twice. Anyway, <laughs> so, okay, guys. Um, what's going on besides that? I mean, how, how else is life? Life's good. Life's good. I can't complain. World War Three is coming. World War Three is coming. World War Three is coming. Might good maybe. timing. Let's hope it doesn't. Why yeah. did America do that? What did America do? That shit they did in the meeting. I'm not up to speed, but I watched a little bit of it. Sean King lets me know everything I need to know. Oh, you boy. follow Sean King. <laughs> you heard he facilitated the release of some hostages. Did you see? <laughs> They had the they had the uh, Israelis on there. Like, thank you, Sean King, for the ten thousand dollars. I'm like, Sean King, how dare you? He's like, I would never. I'm like, damn, they over there capping. Thank you, Sean King, for the $10,000 you gave to us. Thank you for the $10,000 you gave to us, Sean King. I'm like, man. And the thing is, they probably think he's like a big deal over here, too. They probably like, yeah. that fucking Sean King's over there running America. I like, think they're not going to fuck about Sean King for real. But it's just like, it's, just, it's funny because, you know, perspective is everything. Yeah. He's like out in front of like all of us. Like, and America is not. Having it. We like, Sean, okay, bro. Oh, wow. Okay. You know, it's like people have a problem with Sean King because of the GoFundMe's and a lot of uh, misallocated fund um, allegations, which, of course, would come from... They would always try to uh, de-legitimize anything Mm -hmm. that they deem as a threat. So I can... A part of me is not going to allow them to program me against them. You know, shout out to the brother, but it's just funny that... You know, if you were over there, you would think Sean King is like all in Joe Biden's ear. Like, look, look this is what you got to do, Joe Biden. And Joe Biden's like, well, no, Sean King said, well, look, bottom line is this. You know, Sean King, you know. So well, Anybody can speak for America. That's you, so You can speak for America. It's 50 like Cent did. Yeah. Yeah. Dennis Rodman went over there and negotiated with King John Moon. That's crazy. That's so, way like, crazy. anything could happen. <laughs> but that's one of Dennis Rodman's best friends, though. That is. Anytime you that ugly... <laughs> The world belongs to you. People be like, we need Dennis Rodman over here to come talk to these alligators. And Dennis Rodman come over there and be like, look, y'all. Look, look, y'all can't be biting all the goddamn the alligators. Like, you right. You right, DR. You right. I never looked at it like that. He's like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He probably had, had go to all kind of kangaroo meetings and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, So the kangaroos said they pissed off because y'all are not bringing them back to forth. You know what I'm saying? Like, You never know what the fuck uh, Dennis Rodman is up. He was on Men in Black. He was in Men in Black. Remember, they was like, Dennis Rodman's been an alien for a long That's time. That's right, yeah. I was like, you can't say shit like that to me because I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. I was like, yeah, fuck him and his shoes. I'm not ever. He is a fucking extraterrestrial. Um, so, yeah, man, like, you know, what's going on over there is crazy. Um, you know, it's just like, 
I can't believe we're going to get involved in this. I know. I don't know why we have to get involved in this. I don't know. And it's like, well, you know why we got to get involved, involved in it. Because it's, it's already it's, involved. You know, we are, we are knee deep. We were deep. already involved. We are knee deep involved. Why, why are we going to have something that, why are we going to have something that could potentially drag in China and the United States over this much? Because money? they say the economy is about to collapse. And you know what helps the economy? Hey, it's getting involved. Uh, who's, who says that? Because some people are like, yo, America's economy is doing better than mostly every other economy. Well, yesterday, we China tell. sold more American bonds than they did, or the, the most since pre-COVID. So they dumped a bunch of American bonds when COVID was happening. Like, yeah. Something's about but, to tank. Yeah. And then yesterday, We're not going to tank because we make money off war. Who That's is true. making money off of 2K? Because I feel like <laughs> if that is sparking our economy, then they, I mean, they're killing people on, 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 on. And not, not, not to get me started on V-Bucks. I feel like, look, our, we're, our economy is doing fine. Um, it's just a matter of, man, you know why we got to get into it. It's because, you know. The ev evangelicals care, care a lot. They Maybe care a lot. They care too much. We've been watching pretty much every news source you can find. So we watched a lot of CBN. Mm -hmm. Everything from CBN to like Alex Jones. To Alex Jones, we've been watching. And but also in between. So you got NBC, ABC, Al Jazeera. We're, we're, we're watching how everybody covers this so that mm -hmm. we can try to get the full story. Because you can't get it from one. You go to Al Jazeera, Al Jazeera forgot that October 7th even happened. Right. You go to CBN. CBN completely forgot that Israel had been a bunch of jerks before then. CBN is Christian mm -hmm. Broadcast Network. Mm -hmm. Christian Broadcast Network is like the Crusades are coming. Yeah. But they, they don't here. understand that this ain't the same Israel that's in the Bible. This Israel was born in 1940 something. This the, the, the Bible was out way before that. 1948. That was yeah. a whole nother Israel that they talking about. Yeah, yeah. According to these, according to these people, it's the same Israel as the Bible. Yeah. Well, they're of course. Jewish. It's the same. It's the same Jewish religion. It's very complicated. Whatever they need to, they, you know, you, you saw what we did when we got our Mexico. We called it New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I'm saying just to distinguish, there is a there is there is an original Mexico and there's a New Mexico. There's an original House of Pancakes and there's an international House of Pancakes. What is the difference? Man, fucking deliciousness. <laughs> Are you serious? Bro, OHOP is like leaps and bounds better than IHOP, bro. Really? I have no idea. Where are yeah. they? Where you find them? The yeah, well, South there's probably. one in Michigan, okay. right? So that I, I know there's, there's a couple in Michigan. Then I was just in Tacoma, Washington, and I mm. stumbled upon one on Postmates and ordered it, and they had, they had the little Dutch baby treat and everything. But man, OHOP is killing. Like they, I mean, they they're just fire. Oh, somebody said it's one in the valley. Ooh, Where? I didn't know that. Dijonet, thank you very much, because I'm about to be ordering <laughs> what I like to refer to as the fuck out of that. <laughs> um, we should do an episode from... Hell yeah! <laughs> from, from the OHA. So, anyway. Um, so my thing is, okay, you know, it's just, we're under so many attacks. I don't even want to miss speak. I'm so scared to speak, because it's like, I don't want to piss off the Jewish community. I don't want to piss off the Muslim community, but it's like both of you guys are fucking up. <laughs> and it's like, it's not my job to say who, it's like I'm not the, like the teacher and then you see two boys fighting in the bathroom and yeah. it's like, look, you y'all know the rules. There's no fighting in the bathroom. I don't give a fuck who started it. Everybody getting suspended. That's how we need to do it. But well, they don't, that's how it usually is, right? That's how it usually is. But then October 7th was real bad. October 7th was really bad. Because, I mean, that was fucked up. And you got to think, too. Like, whose kids are going to these music festivals? Like, the top people. Like, you know, people who can afford that. Like, these are people who, you know, it's like, bro, like, they don't give a fuck about them hostages. They don't care about nothing but killing y'all, period. Like, that was the worst thing to do. They they did they went too far because once you go that far you can't take it back. Here's you can't what I say. I'm sorry. And here go the thing. Here, here's what I say. What's, here's, what's too far? Right. That's what I'm about to say. What's too far? But what's the same, too far? I'm gonna tell what's you what too far? far is. I'm gonna tell you what too far is. Ready for this? Too far is when you don't have a plan beyond that. Too far is when you can't back up what you just started. That seems to be it, right? That's what too far is. Right. Too far is like oh, okay, you went to poke the bear. That's fine. But then your stick broke, and you know, like, oh fuck. <laughs> This bear is eight motherfucking feet. And he's just like, exactly and now, right. now you, you got a cocaine bear running through the goddamn community. And everybody's like, wait, what's wrong with that bear? That bear did not have, I get it. Bears are assholes. People mm -hmm. don't really like bears that much. Bears are beautiful too. If you like bears, you love bears. Mm -hmm. If you're not a fucking fan of bears, 
Then you're like, yeah, I stay away from bears because I don't like talking shit about bears because bears will fuck you up. <laughs> Here you are, act like you don't know the rules, come through poking this bear. And it's like, dog, and then you fucking with the bear kids. Jesus Christ. Don't touch mama bear's kids. Oh my God. And so apart. it's like, to, to Amir's point, what's too far is not being able to, be, like, like you can't start it and then look for sympathy when it gets started on you. Yeah. And that's I, and I and, I don't and, know, man. That like I get what happened was wrong. I get that, and I get that it's like you just go in this innocent civilians, but nobody cared until they retaliated. It's always an issue when somebody retaliates. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, people, people no, have people cared have cared, but it's but it hasn't done anything. We're getting they're getting bombed well, every this isn't day. Do anything either. Nothing's going to do anything right now. I know, no but one, what's the, no the one when somebody stop reacts? It's the only like a thing who can of stop like Israel is the United States. And they went so they're far not gonna, that the, they're not gonna we, stop. we are not going to stop. They're funding this, this shit. They're giving them guns. Yeah. They're giving them weapons. Of we, course. This, it's a history of this shit being there. It all, it all makes sense as far as imperialism goes. I think the problem with the, the whole conflict is that you can go back to any point in time between 1948 and now, and just depending on where you what position you want to take, you can just pick a date and be like, well, this is where they went over the line. But then the other side can pick another date further back and be like, no, they went over the line here. Yeah. So it's just so complicated. And then what happened, it's like you said, October 7th was, was them declaring a real war without right. any plan to no, have a real no, war. Right, with not, no reinforcements. Like, bro, what do you think is going to happen? Yeah. The people... Are like, I mean, nobody got the safety. It was like, okay, everybody go over there. We about to do some shit over here. Now, yeah. No, that's like, that's like, imagine if you were sitting on your porch and you wanted to decide to pick a fight, a gunfight, with the local drug dealers because you don't like the way that they've been trying to take over your neighborhood. So your idea, while your kids are in the house, it's a whole birthday party in your backyard, mm. is to fucking shoot at them. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And then when they shoot back, you're like, but it's kids over here. <laughs> it's like, fam. That, that, like, I'm telling you right now that nobody's right. No. But what it looks like is, it's like, dog, I, both days, I was chilling. Like, I don't... I, now I have to have an opinion about this. I got to speak about this on my podcast. I got to piss off people on my podcast because it's the fucking truth. And it's like, dog, bottom line is, like, it's like, man, we nobody wanted... Everybody was... People been saying free Palestine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People been screaming free Palestine. Yeah. That's fine. Dude, who who was who? Remember who was Amir? Who was the last rapper that was a big rapper that was in jail? That everybody was like, man, come on, we gotta free him. Who just got free? Uh, Forty two Doug just got free. Last yeah, week. literally, literally a couple of days ago. A couple yeah. days ago, right? How long have they been screaming free Forty two? Since he got in. You think they was about to drive they Rolls Royces into the jail to go free this nigga? <laughs> you think, do you think that was a smart plan to do? Is to go in there and free that man like that? You think he really gonna be free? You think it's gonna be over when y'all do get him? Y'all draft for a that month? That sentiment sounds so crazy because it's like when people are oppressed or dealing with such things in this nature, it's like you tell them how to react in a situation where all their other op options have been exhausted or they don't care. There's nobody cares. But wait, I, I gotta I gotta uh, just put some uh, information down. Is that these are not this these are not the same the only Palestinians that are doing this. This is Hamas. Yeah. They are, they, but they, it's, different. it's different from the PLO. So Yasser Arafat, who we remember from when we were, when we were kids, mm -hmm. that used to run the PLO, they went to war with Hamas. So to say that Hamas represents all Palestinians is not true. Right. They represent Gaza. And then they don't represent all uh, Arab people because a lot of Arab people are like, I don't know what you did, but they have to come out for them in public. But in private, are they taking any civilians? No. Mm -hmm. They they basically are kind of in a corner where they feel for public they have to support this, but yeah. they didn't yeah, I'm, do this. I'm not, they didn't I'm not come saying, out and do this. They wouldn't have done it either. I'm not supporting what what was done is what I'm saying. It's an extreme example of some shit that happens when there's a group of people who are tired and have seen their families die off and all that kind of shit like that, and they will take it to extremes. That's the kind of thing that happens when these things go on. I yeah. don't. I don't. Okay. I, I I know the sentiment. I know what you're trying to say, and I think that that's their PR. Because look at this. So this is this thing, uh, this drug that they found in the pockets. It's called uh, Captagon. I hope I'm saying that right. Captagon. Captagon. So it's a synthetic amphetamine that they found in the pockets of these Hamas terrorists. So these guys 
we were like, oh, these guys are psychopaths. These are whatever. They, they're going berserker. But they, a lot of them were probably high on this stimulant, like methamphetamine. But if they were all high on it, then what do you think? Do you think that it was planned for them to all be high? Like, I mean, it, essentially, you get high before a suicide mission. Exactly. Yeah, like, I, mean, that's I think they is. expected it to be a suicide. Yeah, I don't course. think anybody expected it to be as successful, yeah. quote, unquote. I'm not calling it successful, but as it was. And now they're like, oh, sh shit. They caught the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they caught the car. Because <laughs> like, people were saying that these guys were, you know, they were doing these just heinous, heinous things. And they weren't acting like they were doing these heinous things. And they think one of the reasons could be that they were basically high on meth. Mm -hmm. No. I mean, I mean, I this, okay, maybe, right? But it's like, it's I anything that's getting to me, I have to, I have to take it with a grain of sand and I have to decipher because there's been so many, like I said, these are the same people who were saying, thanks, Sean King, for the money. Because, I mean, it's all in an effort to confuse and cover up what they really want to do. Like, like they really want to get back, and they don't. They don't want to hear no. They don't want to hear give them a break. They don't want to hear that, and they're trying to do everything in their power to stop us from even saying that, so they can do what they want to do. No, no, and I understand. I don't. This is coming from Jerusalem. I don't. I don't think Israel is going to give these guys a break. They're preparing a ground war. They're going to go into the tunnels. It's going to be yeah. messy. Well, this is a this is an excuse that Israel has needed for a mm -hmm. long time to go deal with Hamas. Right. I don't. Okay, you're you're putting stuff on. I'm them not too. saying it was a 9/11 situation. Right. But, no, no, no. He's not saying that. <laughs> but but what he's saying is like. And we can get into the conversation. Well, there, there was, have been there, tension. Yeah. There, there's been tension for a while, yeah. and it's like, well. The the tension was there because things had to be handled amicably, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? It had to be, you know, there were rules of engagement that were in place. And when October 7th happened, it was like, oh, you think you can overstep? Well, we're going to fucking come in river dance. Yeah, I mean, I again, I don't know what they expected to happen but, or but, what the plan is. So, but 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 to your point, though, the excuse was to not be able to restrict themselves. Mm -hmm. Like the excuse was to be drunk with revenge. Yeah, as like you know what I'm saying. To it's get like, the whole populace to get the whole yeah. like you know like why would you guys not listen? Because you didn't see what they did to us. It's like yeah. Once you gave them that rebuttal of you see what they did, it was like man, it's not that nobody can help you, but it just the ramifications for us stepping in or anybody stepping in is this all-on world war. Mm -hmm. So now they have you where they want you, on an island. Yeah. And I mean, I might be wrong about this, and I'm sure I will hear about it, but you can make the argument that things were slowly meeting somewhere in the middle, right? They like Netanyahu was better. on his way out. A lot of people blame Netanyahu for how bad it's been in Palestine this whole time. He was facing a public backlash. That's why I keep saying this is a very convenient event for the neocons in Israel because yeah. things were getting better. There were work programs getting people from Palestine working in Israel. There were things normalizing. Yes. And then they used those uh, work visas to come uh, to get uh, intelligence, gather intelligence from to Hamas. To do this. And, and it's not going to get over. better. No, but it's here's not. the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Ready for this? All of that is true. However, <clears throat> that's on a political level, right? So, like, that's like them from overseas looking at the plight that different minority groups have with America and being like, well, they are doing affirmative action. They are doing different programs that are helping to get minorities in college. They're doing stuff for the for the LGBT groups. They're doing so maybe it looks like stuff is getting better. Meanwhile, on the ground level, the the ideology of the people is still of hatred. Mm -hmm. So then you have people like who are of Israeli descent talking about, well, you know, I could live right next door to a Palestine guy and we don't have the same rights. And I can go over there and I can piss on him and I can do whatever I want to this guy because they're under a different rule. It's like, well, that's the problem is the actual racism within the people, not just mm. the systematic, mm -hmm. quote unquote, band-aid of the whole thing. It's like it's indoctrinating in the people like people grew up with these mindsets. These are, these are the ones fighting, not the people who are signing the papers and pushing the laws. They're not the ones doing the fighting. Yeah. So it is really like you, you're stuck having two conversations. Exactly. Because in Israel, it's like, yes, th th there isn't a system of apartheid legally. 
-hmm. Well, there's 20% of Israeli population is Arab. Right. So like on paper, like you're saying, it's not like there's a system of apartheid, but if the people have that in their hearts, there's nothing you can do. They want it. No, there there are a lot of uh, hardliners who want it. They're like, this is a Jewish state. Yeah. This isn't about anything else. It's about you're Jewish and you have the right of return. So mm-hmm. anybody born anywhere can come and be a citizen of Israel if you're Jewish. Right. But if you're Palestinian, you don't have that right, even though you were born right there. Right. Because right. You, you're not the right religion. And that's just a mess. But you know what? There's a lot of Arab countries, too. Mm-hmm. So, there, I mean, there's a lot of Muslim countries, too. So it's like, are we going to say that these this one people doesn't get to have their own country? And we very rarely get to see a country get made. Like in our lifetime, we don't get to see it get made. If we had to go back and see all of these countries that we're living in right now get made, we would think that we were monsters. Yeah, Absolute very monsters. Yeah. Every that's a, that's one a, of them. That's a very good point. I think that I want to just make sure that the viewers understand. Number one, we invite everybody to these conversations, right? You want to join the Patreon. You want to come in and drop your education uh, on what you know, what you deem as facts. What we're talking about is everything presumed from the rest of the world looking in. There are people who are from Gaza, people who are from um, Israel who understand things that we don't understand. Don't sit up there and say, you guys are fucking stupid because what this is, is this is the conversation that's going on in all the barber shops, mm-hmm. in all the beauty shops, in all the car washes, wherever the fuck people are it's kind of conversations because we don't know exactly what's going on. We're being fed information through a filter of who knows what the fuck, when the fuck, wherever the fuck. And so it's like, Keep that bullshit out out our, our comments. Like, why would you dare say a thing when you don't know anything? You don't fucking know anything unless you're there. <laughs> right. You don't fucking know. Yeah, there are a lot and of people like, standing. Everything on one is side. presumed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like, grow the fuck up. Understand that we're all witnessing something. That that to my point, we have not seen the country get made, and it is not pretty, and it may not be fair. So it's like you know, I don't know exactly what to deem as. Um, uh, good enough for the fact checkers, you know what I'm saying? But we don't care. Like right. we're we're telling you what we believe, and we're telling you what we think. And um, you know, join the conversation if you would like to explain to us your point of view. Uh, we're not fucking closed minded, but this is just the conversation that we're having. Yeah, because we're we're really talking about public perception. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. More than facts and whatever. Because that, how much does that matter when both of these sides are really playing a PR game, right? Mm-hmm. And it, it, the last point I'll make about the the Hamas attack was like you were you were on your way to winning the the PR war, yeah, and you've completely given that up now, mm-hmm. which I think is because there there may have been you know there may have been a path to some sort of middle ground and some peace, yeah, uh, with Saudi Arabia talking to Israel, those relations normalizing could have led to something else. I don't think Hamas, not Palestine, Hamas, the terrorist organization of, of Hamas, Gaza, wanted, it's different than the of West Gaza, Bank. wanted yeah. there to be that middle ground. I think they well, are looking for a war. Well, imagine uh, imagine somebody saying, hey, how you doing? I like your house. Get the fuck out. <laughs> and then uh, let me get a couple of nights. I've, I've had a long journey. Um, we'll talk next year about maybe we can come together and figure this shit out. But this is our crib. My, my dog wants to lay down. Please get the fuck out before we kill you. And then let's talk in about a year and let's come to an agreement somehow. Maybe you get the house on the weekends when I'm at work. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you, yeah. it's like nobody want to hear that at that yeah. point. And that's, you know, like, again, this is this is from what I've picked up and Maya and I think do a good job trying to watch as many different perspectives on it as possible. Gaza specifically did have a win, right? When they, they they did have Israelis kind of encroaching on Gazan land at one point. And during the peace deal before like Netanyahu, or something. before Netanyahu came in, they did cede a lot of land back to the Gazans and they pulled a lot of Israeli they settlements pulled, out. They, they completely pulled out of Gaza. Yeah. And, and then the president them. of Israel that facilitated that was killed by an extremist in Israel because they were not happy with that. But there was... Wait, no, that, they left in 2006. Uh, you're thinking of Yitzhak Rabin. He was killed in, I think, like, 95. Oh, I thought that all happened at the same time. See, I shouldn't even be But no, he, he, was killed, he was killed in 95 <laughs> because of an extremist uh, Jewish person so that he was being too peaceful because he mm-hmm. wanted to have peace. And, he, and this extremist from his far right came in and assassinated him. I remember watching it on TV. I didn't know what was going and on. that's another thing, too. Like... Politics as we know it is not how it's ran in the whole world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like our politicians are under a little bit of pressure. Every now and then somebody gets killed. Every now and then a politician gets smoked out, right? Mm-hmm. Um over there, it's like 
we will fuck you up. If we, I'm not lobbying for shit. Do what I ask you to do, or I'm going to fucking kill you. Like, there is no, and they're like, uh, yeah, fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, so speaking of super villains, though, because I want to get off of this. Oh, because, yeah. So, good idea. <laughs> this shit is like, you know what I'm saying? We get to talk about this for ages because it's like, you know, we're over here. This is the same thing, believe it or not. The way that we talk about this is the same way that we talk about aliens and different other things where it's like we're always trying to look for life that has our rules of, um, you know, two eyes, two ears, a mouth, like walking up. Like we can't even fathom some of the things that could come for us because we only know our rules. And so as Americans, we're like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? But it's like we have a way of doing things. That is just not the way that the world does things all the time. And so we're not going to understand everything. So let's just... But speaking of supervillains... Ooh, supervillains. If you've been in Paris recently... Because they're rich? Oh, no. <laughs> you so rich you in Paris? Who, me? <laughs> People like, if you rich and you've been in Paris recently... First of all, I heard Paris is ghetto as hell. <laughs> it's dirty as fuck. Graffiti everywhere. And then now they got this bed bug problem. Now... It's one thing to have a bed bug problem, right? I mean, I'm sure, like, you know, parts of, like, America are, you know, like, horrifying with bed bugs, I'm sure. But there's a gentleman in Paris. Uh, America, oh. Uh, make everybody suffer. Oh, my God. Yeah, y'all don't want no parts of that, bro. Uh, Nobody does. That, bro, you got to blow the whole crib up. Look at the look at them. Look at that one picture where they're peeling back that wallpaper right there. And it's just. Oh, God. Yeah, see, this kind of stuff right there that that that'll make your dick turn to a navel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. This type of shit make your shit go up inside you. Like, oh, nope, God. I don't want anything to do with this world. Uh, oh my God, yeah, but the, yeah, there's a guy who is breeding, quote unquote, these bed bugs as an attack. First of all, what kind of weak ass super villain are you? Like, <laughs> I will release my bed bugs on you. It's like. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's pretty bad. I think this is a good super villain because you don't want to take it too far. <laughs> yeah, no. if you're trying to walk some kind of line, this is a way to ruin a lot of people's lives <laughs> now, very you're, quickly. You're going to get a lynch mob after you, but the government won't kill you for yeah. this. First of all, what you think them bad, them bad buzz ain't loyal to you? They'll eat your ass <laughs> up if they get out that goddamn <laughs> channel. You're not breeding them. You're just giving them an environment to grow. That's it. You're not like, bad bugs, sit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to my demands. You know what I'm saying? They at the table. The bed bugs run, run across the table and get the paper. But like, this is our demands. Bed bugs, make a number. They all forward to a number. This is my number to quit. Like, you don't have bed bug control, my nigga. You just are an idiot. So let's, re- let's read what he said. Well, I just want to say, uh, give people the backstory. This wasn't posted to 4chan, as they say. This was posted to a French forum in 2021. And so this is translated from French. Okay. Into English. I think you should read this. I think you should read it. Where should I start? But what is my goal, you ask? Okay. But what is my goal, you ask? Huh? Why do that old, big old mad bug? (laughs) That's his name? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, his name is Old Big Mad Bug. (laughs) I must read it like Dr. Evil. Well, there is the stroke of genius when it arrives. My interest is twofold. The first is that I hate... I hate France from the bottom of my guts. Hmm. And I hate the people who live here. For the most part, I want this country to collapse as quickly as possible. And you think Bear Buzz is going to do that, you fucking twerp? Anyway, <laughs> let's finish. Twerp. I calculated that I have already cost more than 1 billion euros alone. And that's only taking into account the cost of treating bed bugs, which in practice is impossible. <laughs> I'll tell you right away, it will always come back. Don't worry. It's dead. Why would he even say it's... All right, whatever. French people talk weird as hell. (laughs) Anyway. And without counting the costs linked to psychological problems, loss of motivation, efficiency, lack of sleep, possible work (laughs) accidents which may have occurred thanks to this, et cetera, et cetera. The second line is that I have obviously knowing that the bed bug infestations will increase. I can not only ruin France the state as well as the individuals, but also make as much money as possible by knowing which boxes to invest in and which sector of activity exactly. The bed bug market is growing. Mm -hmm. It's a growing market. Very buoyant. I estimated that more than 1,000 billion units. Who does 1,000 billion? That doesn't even sound right. Don't you go to a trillion? 
bunch of boxes to invest French, in? Uh, French uh, uh, numbers are weird. No, they're fucking stupid because <laughs> nobody does a thousand. It's, it's a trillion. <laughs> Whatever. This motherfucker is. is <laughs> he is not even. I estimated me more than 1,000 million units this year and double that next year. <laughs> With the return of the tourism. He's trying to ruin the world. Man. I disagree with you. I think this is a very good supervillain. No, he's not. And I mean, one thousand billion sounds bigger than a trillion. But also. what? What are the units? One thousand. Yeah, what is he talking about? Year? The bed bug market is growing. Like the bed bug, like he's talking about actual bed bugs as units. He probably got a raw number. Oh. Number nine hundred and fifty-five billion. Step up. <laughs> Show them your bite. And yeah, I, I, they're not sure if this is real. Okay, so this is the original. So someone I posted this in on a French forum in 2021. And so this mm -hmm. is the original what he posted. He's anonymous. It's like a French 4chan. So this could be somebody's imagination. It, yeah, it could be creepypasta. I choose to believe it is real. I'm going to go with it's real. Man. He better off doing ants. <laughs> What? Why? Ants are way smarter. You can get the right, like bullet ants. He can oh, do some yeah. damage with bullet ants. And 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 you can control ants. You can control ants. Yes, you can control ants. How? Pheromones, training, karate. Well, you're a you you breed things, right? I breed French bulldogs. Funny you asked. Only thank you. <laughs> so I'm not trying to take over the world, but you know I can't take over your Christmas. That would be adorable. I can't take over one of your your Christmas with a very very beautiful, cute Merle blue and tan, or a pied blue uh, Frenchie that we have available. Uh, pied blue Merle Frenchie we have available as well. Just if you want to get a Frenchie, call me. Whatever, they're cute. They will take over your Christmas, and then and and, and they're gonna be way less than one billion euros. Just just a thought, but. Yeah, breeding, I mean, so breeding, you have to know, like, when these bed bugs are ovulating. <laughs> Go on. You got to know, like, what colors he wants, what breeds. <laughs> like, for traits? Are we yeah. <laughs> for sure, breeding, for him, traits? breeding him for traits. <laughs> for, now, these are, these are, these are very smartest ones. These are the scientist bed bugs. These are... These bed bugs only bite feet. These are important. <laughs> he probably got a like he got he probably got about fifty thousand bed bugs that is carrying him. He walk into the room like this. I'm here to negotiate. What's his name again? It doesn't say oh oh big mad bug. Big mad bug. Name. So he's calling himself Mad Bug. No, a big mad bug. Don't leave that big guy. He like Big Sean. But to, to be honest, somebody breaks into your house with a knife. If somebody breaks into your house with a box of bed bugs. Right. Who are you taking more seriously? Oh, I'm, I'm shooting both of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Both the niggas gonna die. You know what I'm saying? But if he has the bed bugs, you right. can't shoot him because right. if he drops it. Right, right. No, he, he gonna drop it. He gonna die still, but I mean, we got bed bugs. <laughs> as soon as he walked up to my house, we got him. <laughs> we got bed bugs now. So Dang. we gotta kill him just because I'm pissed off. Stab me. Fire. <sighs> Fire might work. Yeah, but then you gotta burn. Ugh. You had that ant problem for like a year one time. It drove you crazy. Yeah, they, it's like on and off. But it was when it got hot, yeah. Never again. Amir had ant that. problems. He didn't have to burn his house down. Right now. But you don't have to burn down your house. Bro, the hotter it gets, the more they fucking come in. <laughs> well, you sound like, what, what, I don't want you to put your business out, but like, what part of the town are you staying? Like, I'm like uh, the valley area, close to Glendale. You know what I'm saying? That, but like, That's exactly where the hell I was. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's like problem. Eagle Rocky, Tampa, and all yeah. that little area. Yeah, no, like they're yo, bad. We go through it. Like yeah. I had to put some tape on my outlets. Ugh. I really? did the same thing, and they still got through. Yeah, they'll figure, they'll kind of like the air will go over, but you you probably need like duct tape. But what uh what I used was a uh, de powder. I have I've a heard. dog, so I just brought Max back. Max is back now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That powder is no the, joke. He can't be by the puppies. He'll probably fuck him or you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, that's what I do. I use de powder, and that shit is no joke. But it basically like. It drops in them and it like crystallizes it a little bit. It makes it so that they can't retain moisture. So it just takes all that out of them. Mm. And they walk into it, it basically like cuts them up or whatever. Mm. But I didn't really see that effect on them. They just started being like, oh, that's crazy. They saw a couple of them die. They was like, damn, I don't wanna be, don't wanna be that guy. So they just started avoiding it. But then I had I had it in the windowsill and then we got termites. And the termites tried to come alive. Like they were 
baby termites. Mm. And they were started, I heard this like fluttering sound in the window. I was like, what the hell is that? And I looked and these termites were getting cooked by this DE powder. Ah. So it was just killing them at like, as soon as they were trying to come alive, they were dying. I was like, this is terrible. I was like, I'm dealing with ants. I got the ants out the way. Now there's termites. I'm like, we got to move. I was See, like, but what I heard is you can reason with ants from what you just said. No. You can show an ant, like, here's a dead ant, and it will go they, away. But yeah. they can't reason they, with bed bugs. They, they know, because I've killed an ant, like, right in front of them, and they, they, they send the signal out, and all of them scatter. They was like, oh, shit, <laughs> this way. Go the other way. And mm-hmm. that's what they do. They're really smart. But that's can, the fucked yeah. up part, is that they figure, they once they figure out, okay, there's danger here, we'll never come back here again, but we'll go somewhere else. And then they start moving through your house. Ah. And that's the thing. And they, and they spread so fast. It, like, doesn't make... I used to come home. I used to come to work, and then clear. Kitchen's clear. Come back, and they in the fridge. They're walking to the trash can. I was like, we didn't even leave anything out. I left the pizza out for an hour. They fucked that shit up. Damn. I'm not even joking. They're so look, relentless. They so we have like a lot of crazy big spiders, right? So so we got black widows, yep. mm-hmm. like real black widows with mm-hmm. like the with the, the hourglass, hourglass yep. on the ass. Then we got uh, gopher snakes, which gopher get snakes. fucking huge. What's a gopher snake? Uh, I'll show you the one that they put out our Mike, drain. Can you bring it up. Yes, a gopher snake. Is it like a? Real I never one? heard of that. So they must they must eat gophers then. Is that what I would dog? imagine? Yeah, it's that name yeah, yeah. or the color? I would yeah. imagine that. That, that. That's crazy being named after something you eat. Like, yeah, I'm the pussy man. Oh, that looks like a rattlesnake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they do like rattlers, but like, oh, you know, that's unfortunate because you probably kill them immediately. Oh, immediately. Because <laughs> you think they're rat, uh, rattlesnakes, mm-hmm. so but they're they're harmless. Uh, um, they're not poisonous, so they're they're like a bigger um, uh, garter snake. Mm. You see oh, how like mouth, like bro? The yeah. mouth on that thing looks like yeah. a turtle. That looks like a it turtle. It does look like a turtle. It looks just like a turtle oh, yeah, in the it face. Does have a turtle face to it. Did you ever see that? Um, I forget which uh, which show it was, where these people bought a house, and then they just heard like a little bit of a slithering in the wall. Oh yeah, and, this is and like a famous it, thing. And that thing. Fell down. Oh no, the the whole they were on top of a, a snake breeding ground. There were. Thousands and thousands and thousands of snakes under their house, in their walls, in their attic. It was one of those situations where, like, they knew the realtor must have known, and they still sold it. And wow. I, I think they, they had to abandon the house. Like, there's nothing they could have done. That sounds like some Australian shit. Yeah. Yeah. Where was that at? You well, looking here, it up? Uh, here's a particular one. Okay, I don't think this is the one we saw, but Idaho, Rexburg, Idaho. Yeah, that sounds like Snake Land. <laughs> well, hell, we're down in Rexburg. Oh. I t- tasted them and it tastes, I had touched and dealt with enough snakes by then that it, the water tasted just like the snakes taste. <sighs> but even worse, they signed paperwork when they bought the house acknowledging that there were snakes there. Ah. Uh. Didn't think there would be so many. That's crazy. When they couldn't get rid of them, they declared bankruptcy. Seven different lawyers throughout all of Idaho were thus mentioned to us as well, where they got you on the paperwork and then you just filed bankruptcy. Uh. Refused to give up without a fight. The previous owners that had walked away from that house, they they had sealed up pretty good, but they, you know, after we found that in the house, I went around and tried to seal all I could. Ended up on the Animal Planet Network. You know, when we realized that it was a really big problem, we we kind of wish we would have started taking pictures from day one of keeping the snakes. You know, just because I don't know, I I hadn't lived there. I don't know if I would believe. <coughs> they got him on the paperwork, the man. Is now owned by the bank, and the price keeps going down, under one hundred ten thousand dollars in January. The sessions are trying to rebound. Worry about an unsuspecting Look at the kids. Yeah, that's what I used to do is lift up laws and find them. Yeah. Have a name for the place. They call it the Snake House. <laughs> well, that's not They're even creative. creative. <laughs> why would you? Why would you even give us like a little? <laughs> what? Like I would call it like the like the Slither Home, Serpent City, Serpent fucking City. That's not like a strip club though, <laughs> for women to go there and look at dicks. <laughs> We're going down to Serpent City. I ain't better not catch you down to Serpent City, bitch. <laughs> I love it here, Tony. Oh man! I mean to say, Tony, it wasn't you. I'm yeah. just saying, like, <laughs> we better catch Molly down in Slither City. Like, Molly, you got the baby? Where the baby? Look at my day. I'm down in Slither City. <laughs> man, when when Maya and I met, uh, your that townhouse you were in. Why would you start that sentence right after a dick 
Yeah. Thing. He's like, well, you know, I'll tell you now. When me and Mike first met, man, I was dancing down at uh... Circle City, man. No, nah, go ahead. What happened? We, well, you had no problem, no bug problem at all. And then they evicted yeah. that hoarder that was living uh, in the building. And then store. everybody got roaches. You can't live like, in a townhouse. If you live in a townhouse or an apartment and somebody in your apartment... Um, yeah, they go through the walls. They're just going to come through the walls. Yeah. So the way if you have a hoarder who lives next door, they have to... Everybody has to leave and they have to fumigate the entire yeah, would you say they got to tent area. the house? Yeah, put, 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 put that big ass do rag on your house. <laughs> and everybody be walking about like, damn, they some nasty motherfuckers. They got that big ass thing on their house. It's like a big circus thing. <laughs> I be yeah, seeing that. That's move. so crazy. We yeah, we to, moved because of We it. moved. There's nothing we could it. do. It was yeah. like, unless you're going to uh, treat the entire townhouse complex with like five houses or something. And then your weird landlord comes in. That's in Canada. How cool is that? What is it? A chicken whopper? Uh huh. Whoa, big chicken, a chicken Big Mac. <laughs> oh, see, I I would mess with that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, chicken Big Macs. I, I don't know. It's just they have them in Toronto. Anyway, <laughs> trying to look for these pictures of this snake. Making you hungry? <laughs> no, opposite. You want to look at pictures of snake? Here's pictures of snakes. Can I tell you something though? I used to catch balls of snakes like that. Like that? Yeah, uh... like catch them in, in buckets, and my dad would be so mad. Like, Stop bringing this shit in my house. <laughs> Oh, you'd bring them in the house? Yeah, I have like no 40 way. at a time. And I would sell them, put them in tanks. My God. Bro, look at all those Roman things. better not. I swear. All over top of each other like that. <clears throat> He's a little boy. What I you don't, think? I don't care. I don't, I don't mess with snakes. I'm not afraid of like frogs, spiders for real. But snakes is just, they cool to look at from like afar, but I don't really play around with like that. I don't want to get bit. Hmm, I'm good. Man, just, no. I used to have so many snakes like... I got four big old frogs right now. My frogs grew so much. Did they? Hell yeah. They're huge now. They're just, you know, but we feed them. I'm about to go to the place and get some crickets in as soon as I leave here. I feed them excellent. Calcium dust. They're just great frogs. They they call. Max, this is his first time meeting the frogs. He did not like that shit. <laughs> they bark like dogs. He's like, what the fuck? Because he's running around. Like, what is that? You guys hear that? What oh, really? That? Yeah. He's like, what is that? <laughs> I'm like, yo, chill out. It's the frogs. Okay, bed bug man. Oh, so what do you think? Bug. What do you think? Do you think that they're gonna he, he, like? Here's the thing. Can I tell you why he's he's the dumbest villain ever? Please. Because even after they pay him, he can't stop it. Very true. Yeah. See, like if you're a villain and you ask for these euros and all that, they want you to stop it when it's done. Mm-hmm. He could be like, thanks for the money, but I mean they're <laughs> fucking crazy. They don't listen to me. But he's like the Joker, right? Like he has no set. He's not trying to benefit personally. He's just trying to cause chaos. But what if he sells a bed bug poison? <clears throat> Ooh. If he has a cure for bed bugs, no, he well, can like shut him down. Well, I don't I know if like he, he has a cure. Said that. I don't know if he has a cure, but if he's just in the market of selling bed bug poison. Mm-hmm. Now he's got all this money cuz before he didn't have any money, his business was going down. He released all these bed bugs, and now his business is thriving. It's like people with tire shops throwing nails everywhere. Wow. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. Does that really happen? I'm convinced it happens. I am too. Where our old office was, there was a bunch of like car stuff in the area. Everybody at that building got 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 at least three, four times. Nails on the tire. That's right. You would always scream about that. Oh, screaming and screaming. It's probably because it's stupid construction stuff out there too. I got it happened to me. I know. Yeah, you would go. I was just driving. I was like, damn. It happened to everybody. It was the tire people. I'm telling you. (laughs) I don't know if. It's crazy because it's like yeah he can't he can't stop it now, but like they if they catch where he who he's like breeding these things that they gotta blow that whole shit up, <laughs> they have to. What yeah. are you gonna do? You can't like shut Even down if your you operation. Kill him, he won. Yeah. yeah, he won. He already won. He's an agent. And of it's, chaos. it's no point in. It's, I don't think it's a point in killing him. Might as well. You know what? Put him in fucking. Put him in a a, a prison somewhere by himself with the bed bugs. Like you oh. live with this shit. My he boy. might love it. Or I, 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 what is it, the bane line? He I, might be I, immune. <laughs> What's the bane line? You born in the dark, you just <laughs> merely existed or whatever. What you do, and I would never do this because it's messed up. What you do is you walk him to from the courthouse to the van, mm-hmm. and you put the van all the way over there, and you just let people come out and say their piece. The chances of him getting to the van from the courthouse, that's not on you. That's on the mob. There you go. So you yeah. want to line him up to get killed like Nino Brown? Who? Nino Brown. I'm not familiar. New Jack City, when them old man shot him. Oh. Nino! Remember me, motherfucker? Oh, Wesley Snipes. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't do it. I'm just saying, if you needed to solve a problem real quick. That's pretty violent. I would never. I would kill it. Right <laughs> on. Oh, if I got, if, if he, if I got got by that, oh yeah, I'm gonna find out where you stay, bro. I'm gonna oh, track you. I'm gonna track your IP. It's I'm gonna like track your IP address. Get rid of that shit for real. Yeah, it's expensive. I'm, I'm flat out killing them. Like, try me, big mad bug. <laughs> so just dox him, and someone in France is gonna get him. Yeah, yeah he got to get hurt. I'm sorry. All right, what's next? Okay, so here's uh. It's funny, but it's not funny. So the AI doesn't know how to get jokes. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Little post-COVID cough. I'm good. Oh, that's right. You had COVID last week. Well, yeah, 10 days ago. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so basically, the AI models don't know how to match the caption to the cartoon. So they, they just don't know how to get a joke. Explain that. So they did, um, it says hundreds of entries from the New Yorker magazine's uh, cartoon caption contest. As a test bed, researchers challenged the AI models and humans with three tasks. So matching a joke to a cartoon, identifying mm. a winning caption, and explaining why a winning caption is funny. AIs don't know funny. That's a big deal. That's yeah. big. For this industry. For this me. industry, because they're trying to write these scripts and stuff. And, like, and, and, and if they don't get the joke, everything becomes across like so like... The chicken cross the road because the road is a construct of navigation and the navigation part of the road is the business is on the right side of the road and the chicken either goes to the like, wait a minute, that's not even see. I don't know, that was funny. That's well, funny yeah, job. that's fucking hilarious. But I mean, I mean, of course, I'm CP, I'm not yeah, I'm not yeah. But here's the thing though, it's like ain't shit funny in the future, is what it sounds like. Shit getting weird. I was reading, I was like, oh, I seen this comment yesterday, I forgot her name, old white lady. And she was saying how like this is Gen Z. Essentially, like the last gen, if you want to look at it like the letters. But mm -hmm. She was saying like it's so much shit that they've seen. Imagine telling them to, to like do their homework. It's like we're at war. Fucking AI yeah, is out. It's like I get it. you know, fucking. And it's just like yeah, they don't. It's like shit is kind of getting weird. Like, of course AI doesn't get the joke because they didn't program a sense of humor into it. We got to start acting like all this other shit the AI can do is not programmed into it for real. Mm. They didn't program a sense of humor. They, they, they didn't program a playful language. Like, if you tell Siri, Siri, tell me a joke. And then ask her, why is that funny, though? Mm -hmm. She'll be like, uh, well, because she don't know. Yeah. She doesn't can understand. You, can you program something like that? Yeah, can you program So humor? say, like, what is humor? Siri, what is humor? Uh, man, if I had to nerd explain it, I had to AI explain it, I would say the difference between reality and what people say. So let's see. Mm. So, so something's funny when it's true and you're not supposed to say it. Mm. Hey, Siri. Oh, now she don't want to listen. Any, 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 I don't give her what else. I, I can say Siri is. Here she come. Well, <laughs> it's like, bitch, I didn't even talk to you. Hey, Siri. What is humor? words or actions or in a book or movie this answer is from collins dictionary Damn. she didn't even think she didn't even that. fucking think of that she but, just read it but siri, that, siri doesn't uh siri doesn't do like ai stuff yeah we'd though. have to ask chat gpt but that's a circular reasoning so, something's humorous if it makes you laugh what makes you laugh ah yeah very good mm -hmm. mm. yes you're just saying humor is what makes you laugh right but what is what makes you laugh yeah siri what's funny what do you think is funny oh that's about to ask her <laughs> <laughs> hey Siri, what do you think is funny? I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? Hmm. No, bitch. I asked you a question. <laughs> I won't respond to that. See? Oh, now you're see? fighting. Yeah, see? I was joking. Now she didn't even realize that. I was just joking. I was just, uh, she's not a bitch for real. See, Siri, you're you're whack as fuck. But anyway, so Siri is an AI though. No. You gotta stop. Come on. No, she's not AI yet. Not yet. It has it's a uh, so the thing is, is it, yeah. The the funny thing is, like the AI thing has turned into this thing of what it is instead of what, uh, like behind the scenes, what those things do essentially. So now AI is a forefront; it's a thing. So now it's like, oh, I'm gonna ask AI to do this. Before it was like, I'll ask a thing to, like, 
assist me into doing some Siri was a virtual assistant. That's what it came out as. Oh, a voice right, assistant. Right, right. That's what mm. those things are. Google, Google, Google Assistant, Siri, Bixby, whatever, Cortana, they're all virtual assistants. And now that a, this other thing like ChatGPT is a that's an AI thing that's built upon all of these languages and compiling things to make something that's that like doesn't kind of already that makes exist. Sense. That whereas makes Siri sense. was something that was just a, an assistant to help you with things that already do right you know it's more so of it's help. interpreting what you're saying into a task for it to do yeah it can't like siri's not gonna make like hey you can actually be like hey siri can you uh give me da 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 it's gonna pull up something it's gonna go do research and pull up something but it's not gonna give you something brand new mm -hmm. so siri, basically like ai is thing, gonna then. ai is gonna find the real meat and potatoes out of what siri will pull up and then just give you that compiled with a bunch of meat and potatoes from other stuff that Makes a little bit, yeah, because it. it's like it's not trying to give you isn't like that's why people go to AI for like information is probably not the best thing to do because it's not necessarily going to give you what you're looking for. It's just going to give you a lot of shit. Essentially, essentially the best like, shit that they could find on the yeah, topic. like whatever that and then whatever that is because they're not going to tell you how it's getting these things because mm. that's a, a whole different thing of like that's why you're getting to the copyright laws and all that stuff. It's, they can't even the thing is it gets to the point where it's like I can't even tell you how the fuck it does it anymore. So, so like NBA 2K, even back in like let me see. 2K like 13 had AI settings mm -hmm. where you could determine how difficult the AI was. Mm -hmm. The AI was the computer's ability to make the correct play mm -hmm. to play against you. So here you are with free reigns, right? I could just come down and cross, cross, shoot. The AI on its highest level understood once I crossed the three or four moves that I could possibly make and it defends for the best one. And then it's my job to outsmart it and that's where the game comes from. That's where you essentially playing against the computer. But that's that's what the computer's mind was to play the game. It's like playing chess. Yeah. Against, you know, and, and so those were like early, early, um, kind of like, we were like test subjects for AI for real. Like learning how to beat, like, you know, after a while, you just learn that the computer is not going to play up. It's not going to file. It's not going to go under the screen. It's not going to do certain shit that a desperate person would do trying to win at the last minute. Mm -hmm. It's just going to stick to the rules. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's almost like, well... And that, but that, those kind of things have been around forever. Especially right. if you think about video games. It's always been a computer. Even Pong. Like, you're going against... The, the computer essentially. Right. And that's what that is. It's a, but the computer's not learning from Right. Playing. That's what I was about to say. Like, yeah, yeah, the, no, no, no. The computer is just doing like, once you figure out what yeah, you the computer's already, not going to do, yeah. you just start beating it every time. Like on yeah. Madden, I learned the computer first. So like, I learned like, because that's, 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 that's what tells me how the game is being played right now, right? Yeah. So like, I'll get the new Madden 24 and, and I'll go like a, a four verticals, right? And then I'll see like, if I can get the ball over the top of the defense or if I can, if they're, playing me so tight. I can't do that against a person that knows that I'm going to go to that person. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But I can learn that that the computer does not have the capability to play outside of the scope of what a football player would do. Like I could on, I could, on Madden, on defense, I could pull a defensive lineman off the line and have it running around in the backfield to do, to mix up the, the, the quarterback. Yeah. It wouldn't normally do that ever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. that's a great way to win is to like pull a lineman back and now you looking at a lineman in the middle of the field, you know where to throw. It's like, what the fuck are you doing back there? He's just like, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> like, you know, a big 6'9 nigga in the back of the field like, oh, you know, it's like, so I feel what you're saying. It's like, that's been around for a long time, but the point is that it's getting better and like really, They're, it's really. It's more like they let it go and do its own thing. Right. And that that's what the part where everybody's like that's get that gets risky, it gets scary because it, it does become a thing where it's like you don't know where it'll go. You can't you can't determine like you can't determine where that's gonna go. Right. Like the AI players could just be like, Hey, we're uh taking a break. And you're like, What you mean taking a break? Yeah, taking a break. But they wouldn't put those kind of the the way so that's what I mean, like there's so many different types of AI that 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 wouldn't work. Like they wouldn't put that in the game unless they're trying to make it something where it's like these things take on their own life and they do their own things and everybody in this world does their own kind of thing. Then that's that different, that's a form of like what we use, what people want to use like ChatGPT and those open AI or whatever. Whereas before it was just like, that is the computer in the game and it's meant to be uh, like a blockade for you, but you can eventually overcome that. Mm. Instead of it having like this un 
predetermined path where it's just like you can just do whatever the hell you want to do. We program these things in here to do whatever the hell they want to do. It's like, no, they're programmed just specifically to do this task. Right. And that's what that's what we're used to before. Like I used AI stuff in audio for denoise, but that is programmed just to knock out certain sounds and be like, you can teach it a certain noise that you like, and it'd be like, okay. We'll try to suppress it, but it only can do it to a certain degree. I wouldn't let it run on its own and be like, hey, man, just figure it out. Like, because then it's going to start taking out shit that doesn't be like, oh, I like CP's voice, but I don't like Amir's voice. So I'll take him out entirely. And right. it's done those kind of things before. How? But what do you think mm-hmm. about that? It was a movie um, with Ryan Reynolds and Lil Rail. It's called Free Guy. I I've think. heard of it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And it was about an NPC that just decided that he didn't want to be NPC anymore. What's crazy about that is, is that that is AI deciding to have enough information to start making alternate decisions based on the information that it has, right? Like it knows that I can walk into this bank every day, then I walk into this Starbucks every day. One day it's going to be like, I'm walking to the Starbucks first and then the bank. Then it's going to be like, I'm not going to go to the bank today. Then it's like, I'm not even going to come to work. And if I don't come to work, then am am I still the NPC? Like I'm not in the world, not playing a character. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And it was like they never said it, but if you understand what AI is, you understand that that was like a cute iRobot movie. Yeah. Does it have because well, Ryan Reynolds becomes self aware, right? Right. Yeah. Just like realize. Did anything happen to make him self aware? I can't remember. Um. Because yeah, at one point he's just like, oh, he liked a girl. He saw a girl that he liked, uh, and he was like, why am I feeling this way? Uh, motion. That's right. That's, it, it'll always you know be what I'm something saying? like that. Yeah. And you know, so in iRobot, he didn't save that little girl. Will Smith didn't save the girl, so he hated robots. But then the robot explained to him that it was about the best survival. Um, yeah, like odds. Yeah, and so that's why. It, but it was just like, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, like, like that's that's really the difference now. And like, I think it's it's gonna be like super AI or super sentient AI. I think we're going to like a SS AI. Lambda. That's what they, they said that Lambda was. A super sentient AI? That it was sentient. That That's what we're waiting for is to see if we get AI that's sentient. Mm-hmm. And then people are like, well, what is sentient? Because how do how many people live their life like free guy? Mm-hmm. And are we sentient? Do we have free will? Well, we also like display our sentientness and we, and I don't know if that's a word, but like an AI can sit there and watch Dr. Phil and binge it and start to understand like Compile like, okay, all all the teenagers under the age of fifteen have this response to their moms. All of the black teenagers and all the white teenagers, and it starts to compile and start to identify with when uh, these certain emotions take place in the human genome. Because you, because you, because five year olds aren't having the same emotions as fifteen year olds, and you're watching them on Jerry Springer every day. You don't know me, fuck you. <laughs> it's like, and it's like, it's just mimicking. But that's all. That's all we really do anyway is mimic. Right. Like we're already just mimicking. We're already just mimicking. Yeah, and a lot of times, like if you if you're in a situation and you're like, I'm upset by this, how much of that is hormones, and how mm-hmm. much of this is like my expectation of how I'm supposed to react to this? It's a lot of people are just hungry. A lot of people are very hungry. Man, That's put true. put on a Mary J. Blige CD <laughs> for AI, and then they are gonna be like, niggas ain't shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's like it's like duh, like well, you don't even know niggas. AI, I do know niggas. Niggas ain't shit. <laughs> I used to think that I wasn't fine enough. I used to think that I wasn't wild enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, the AI is just like, no. It's like, no, like, because we put out so much emotional content and we're teaching people how to be emotional. It's not hard for the AI to just develop these same emotions projectively. Mm -hmm. That's how psychopaths work. Right. Mm -hmm. They, They mimic. They just mimic how emotions should feel. They're good at it. Yeah. And then, or what they expect other people. Is that what that means? Like to be a sociopath or a psychopath? Oh, you just you don't have empathy. Which one of the paths is it? Uh, they're all on the same scale. So sociopath is like a watered down version of a psychopath. So you can be a psychopath and not be a bad person. I think the I what? Know. Yeah, you can be a psychopath and not be a bad oh, yeah. person. Yeah, like a sociopath will do things to benefit themselves. A psychopath may do things that don't necessarily benefit themselves. But right? then, but it's, just, but it's all that. like reading. Yeah. Like I'm gonna do what is ex- what I think you expect me to do when yeah. it benefits me, and then vice versa. If it, but that's like that's like 
That's like saying, like, let me clean this kitchen for my mom come home because she get the fucking tripping. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to clean the kitchen. Yeah. Right? So, like, your mom is trying to raise you to want to clean the kitchen, right? Yeah. But the fact that you're doing it just so she doesn't get pissed makes you a sociopath? Yeah, like, she can't make you appreciate a clean kitchen. But she can make it so that you know that there will be some benefit to you if the kitchen is clean. And then she'll make you act like you're like a clean kitchen. Look at this clean. <laughs> right. she'll, yeah, Ma, I love it. It's nice. <laughs> like if she doesn't notice, like, yeah. man, this floor is clean today. Ma, you see how sparkling those windows are? So this guy, he was a neuroscientist. He didn't understand. And he was studying uh, psychopathy. And he was doing brain scans. And he figured out that he was a psychopath. He had the same scan. markers as a psychopath. He had the same markers yeah. uh, as a psychopath. And he realized that, you know what? I like, uh, or I, when I beat my children in, or my grandchildren in games and they get mad, it makes him happy. Mm. Like he's, he's not empathetic with his grandchildren. So he, he realized, he's like, oh no, I am a psychopath. Hmm. And it, he's not a serial killer because if you train, if, if you have a kid, God forbid, that has all these uh, markings of a psychopath, they um, they don't feel empathy for anyone else or, or whatever. If you treat if you train them correctly, and you teach them right the right values, they won't uh, turn into a serial killer. But if you beat them and you abuse them, they might. <laughs> they might turn out to be like a uh, big bug, people, big mad bug. People, people <laughs> talk about people like narcissism, which is crazy because somebody called me a narcissist in the comments the other day. I'm like, dude. What? I don't even know what the fuck that means. They, the people are throwing that word around just because they They're figured out what it, what so it actually much. means. Because if you know, if you've been around somebody that's a narcissist, that shit is not. That shit is scary. Mm. It's it's like one of those things. Was like you you feel it because it's they can't li- they can't literally can't think of much else about right. of you know outside of themselves. That ego is so big. It's just I so, it's, so it's like Kanye and narcissist. He, he wow. has narcissistic ways. I can't say like I'm not gonna put it on him because I'm not I'm not in that field to. Diagnose somebody or some shit like that, right? But I, he has he definitely has narcissistic ways. Well, the he'll do things he's where putting out to the world is one of a narcissist, right? Yeah, for yeah. sure. For but it's sure. like, is it? But like, he likes himself. Is that wrong? It's not. But it's not that. It's more like you can't tell me shit. That is the part of it that goes along with the narcissist but, and only doing things to necessarily benefit him, which he has shown examples of doing that, yeah. like using people to get over to you know and you know all those kind of things. Those traits definitely are of somebody who is narcissistic. Okay, but you can't tell. Donald Trump shit. Is he oh, a, he's, he's probably he's probably yes. like, okay, he's, okay, he's definitely bad example. Teetered. Yeah, you can't tell like you can't tell any president like you can't just be like, hey, real quick, you running this country kind of thing. Like, hey, shut the fuck up. You don't. It's more, but that's more of a putting it on a front in front of the nation to make it so that you don't look like you don't know what you're doing. Mm. Okay. that's that's totally different because you got to look at it in specific fields of things like that. More people run into people that are narcissistic in like relationships. You run into narcissistic people and then. You just, it's one of those things like you, if you never ran across somebody like that, you wouldn't know that that's what that is. It would just feel like, dang, they're just kind of cocky or, you know, anything like that. But then as it goes on, they will literally only do things to benefit themselves and leave you completely out of it because you've come along to, you know, oh, you're on this ride. Well, shit, now you're here. I'm not doing nothing else. Like, Mm -hmm. if it ain't for me, then it won't be done, essentially. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it stretches even further than that, too. They don't like love their children, except they love their children as they are a reflection of them. Yeah. Like like really like messed up kind of things. They won't let you like go and lead your own life if it doesn't involve them. Yeah, mm. it's like you you know people brag about their kids and stuff like that, but mm-hmm. they only talk they only talk good about their children because it it it's, it sounds good to me. Like it makes me look good. It's a reflection of what it's supposed I to make raised, you look good. Right. Yeah. That's that's the only way they they really operate. It's like whatever is going to make me look good. So when the kids start fucking up, they can't handle that, and they be like, I don't even know who you are right now. I don't even Just talk to me when kids. you're back on the good shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. See, man, hmm. people just be calling you a narcissist and hurting your feelings nah, and shit. Man, you're like, no. I, what the fuck? <laughs> they, it, they're throwing it out there because that's a new word. That they, Gaslighting was another one. Gaslighting um, for sure. Gaslighting, narcissism. That, all these things are words that people are starting to, like these therapy terms that people are starting to bring into the gaslighting world. Gaslighting sounds like lying. Gaslighting like, like keeping is keeping the like, lie up. It's beyond that. Because it's like, say you said something. I did something to you, right? Mm-hmm. And me and you both know what happened. You called me out on it. I go above and beyond to make sure that you feel like you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Well, it's and a, then I didn't, I didn't yeah. do it. And it's you're like trying I didn't to make do it. him feel like he's misinterpreting something. Yeah. When really he got it spot on. Right. Yeah. So, so that, but crazy. I gaslight like the police yeah. all the time. You know, I pulled you over. <laughs> uh, no. You were going 50. I was going 50? Now, let me ask you a question, man. Look how fast everybody else goes. How do you know I'm going 50 for sure? 
<laughs> sir, you're the only car on the road. That's not the point. The point is, if something is not moving, you're not moving. I'm moving. You're going to tell me I'm going 50, but you're going zero. Wow. You're just like... Yeah, essentially. Trying to get out of it, though. Yeah, it depends on the situation. But yeah, that... that it. It'll make the other person. It make you. It'll literally make you feel crazy. Like, do it make you almost question what you actually believe, even though you know that it's true. And that's when it's. That's when it's working. If they can see that gaslighting will work, and it'll make you question how you actually think and what you believe, then oh, they've won you over. And it's the point where you're gonna start questioning everything that you do. Like, dang, did what did was that like that? Did I really mean it like that, or what, did it come off that way? Maybe I'm tripping. And then it's like, well, that's what happens when you get gaslit all the time. Mm. Um, yeah, it's little- I don't like the term of it. I don't. I wish. I wish they would ask everybody what they wanted to call that because that's like it's so confusing, man. Like it feels like there should be a better word. Yeah, I feel like there should be a better word. Gaslighting. It It comes from an old movie. Does it really? Yeah, it's a. It's a. It was a trick in the. And it's a super old movie from like the fifties, and so the term has stuck. Wow. Since man, my brother used to do this, there'd be two of us in the car, and he would fart really loudly, and he would say, "I farted," but I know he farted. Yeah, because you didn't feel it out your ass. Yeah. (laughs) I remember, man, people used to do that to me when I was a kid. And, and, and I have a famous, my mom always laughs. She'd be like, did you fart, Chris? I'd be like, I didn't feel it. Because it's like, if I, I don't know if I farted or not. But maybe I did. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, why even ask me? I'm a child. I'm like two years old. Like, why would you ask me if I farted? Like, you heard the fart. You know I'm the only person. You, asking me is gaslighting me. Because now I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> did I? Yeah, the, uh, I just looked it up. The uh, movie is called, it's called Gaslight. It's from mm-hmm. 1944. But the act is also called coercive control. Mm. So that's what is basically persuading you into thinking that, it, you know, what you're saying is not actually what it was. Man. Like you had a, a false memory and, that, and all this Yeah, like stuff. you misinterpreted what happened. Doctors you gaslight know. all the time then. Yeah. It, 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 the thing is, it can happen so easily. It's just one of those things where you... Right, you know, it 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 just comes up because you're because somebody got to win at the end of the day. Somebody has to, you know, what I'm saying not, not everybody, but it's, it's somebody has to come across as right, and mm-hmm. because of that, you're always putting yourself on the table to be gaslit. Like, you know, you confront your partner about some shit, like because you're not them, and they can always deny and say like, no, that's not how I feel. That's not how. I, then you're always open to be gaslit because it's like, well, I saw you or I felt like that's not, no, that's not how I felt. And you need to stop. You you do that a lot. And you're always, and you're like, damn. It's yeah. more, it's it, more it sinister happens. than that. Yeah. It's much more sinister. Remember that song, Shaggy, It Wasn't Me? Yeah. That's gaslighting because she saw him. She saw him in the shower. She saw him. You got um, caught in but the But do you know yeah. what he's trying to say? He's he couldn't gaslighting. say it. No. He couldn't say it wasn't me. He's been body snatched, oh. cloned. He's in the music industry. You who knows? He's like, listen, I have been. I there's something taking over my soul. It wasn't me. I even saw you in the shower. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. I can't say what I want to say. You're gaslighting me right now. You think you're, you're being you, gaslighted right now? You are gaslighting me right now. Well, can you at least consider the fact that maybe he might be body snatched? So we just not let me come. Okay, there's a there's a new show called Gen V. Are you guys watching it? Mm-mm. Heard of it? Oh my god! Do you guys watch The Boys? Oh yeah. yeah. So this is a spinoff of The Boys. Oh, it's in the same oh, yeah? universe. It's, yeah, in cool. a, it's in the same universe at the same time, but it's a college called God U, mm. and this is where they go to study to be soups. Okay. And it's insane, but like, I want you guys to watch it because a lot of the superpowers mirror Gen Z. That's why they call it Gen V anyway. But it's like all these different Generation Z problems, right? There's a guy who can turn between a man and a woman. It's like he's like a non-binary, mm-hmm. they, them. You know, um, it's like a, another girl who's like, she she can control blood, but she has to cut herself. Um, so she's a cutter. There's a girl who can turn very small, like microscopic, like Ant-Man or really, really big, right? Um, but she has to throw up. So she has an eating disorder. <laughs> oh, God. Nice. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so everything is like, you know, um, it's dope how they do it, but it's like, it's just, it's it's crazy watching these um, issues pan out as, this is this that call we've been waiting on all day. There you go. It's these issues pan out as superpowers. It's like a whole nother way of looking at the world. You know what I'm saying? It's like, 
you know, um, it's deep. Anyway, remember Clone High? Hmm? Remember Clone High? The no. Clone High? No. It's from, I don't remember if it's relevant to this, but it was really good, man. It was a, I think it was an MTV animated show. Like all the different world leaders and historical figures, they cloned them and put them in the same high school. That's interesting. It's from like the the late 90s, I think. So it's, like Bill Clinton and all the- Like Abraham Lincoln, I think is the main character. And then, yeah. It's on yeah. HBO? Uh, this might be a reboot. That's a max- yeah, that's good. It looks like the. Oh, no, 2002. Yeah. That animation style looks dumb familiar. It looks like 16 yeah. in Total it looks Drama. Like something else. 16 yeah, what is that animation style? 16 in uh, Total Drama Island. They're made by the same people. I remember it from like the same, the same generation as like Daria. Oh, I see it that. does have that. Remember the Hercules cartoon? It has that kind of feel too, a little bit. Oh, wow. Yeah, now, I remember this... it being good, but it like it was back when you couldn't just like order up what you wanted to watch. It this like, is catch super it. feasible. <laughs> you think so? Hell yeah. Yes. Listen, why would they let these people die for real without getting a little chunk of their deal? You, you think Elon Musk is going to die without getting his DNA cloned? Mm -hmm. He has so many kids. I think that's what he's banking on is just to have as many kids as possible. He's got stupid amount of kids with a bunch of women. he got so many baby mamas. You know, they sent Albert Einstein's kids? brain around. Who? Oh, Einstein, when Einstein died, they dissected his brain and sent it to different researchers. No! What? Yeah. yeah. Okay, this says in today that Elon Musk has 11 children. I know that. With three different women. Hmm. That's not. I mean, insane. they had a lot of kids then. Each. Right. Three different women. That's like three. That's almost four yeah. per woman. 3.4, yeah. 3.5 kids apiece. That ain't bad. I mean, I mean, you know. Elon looks like uh Elon looks like a like a like they, an old none of, none white of them shogun. Stay, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> he like an old white emperor or something. You know what I'm saying? His face is like, oh, hmm. How many kids is, uh does Nick Cannon have? Twelve? It's close if it's not there. So who Too has many. more kids? Uh Nick Cannon or Elon Musk? Oh, he does have twelve. Good. Mm -hmm. You got it right. You get the prize. So Elon just has to have one more kid to match. But he just candy. started 12 years ago. Hmm. That's what's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. He's wow. been having a kid a year. I mean, look, we all like fucking, but goddamn. Some, Nick, something like two a year, low key. Right. Because, yeah, some of them was twins. And, yeah. And he was just going around. Oh, six different women. So he, he is spreading his seed mm -hmm. far and wide. But he has a disease that he's trying to get stem cells. He's not even hiding it, right? Really? He's like stem celling these kids. Like, they can live, but like, give me that liver. That was, that's what they, that, I think that's what was thought. That's what was they, thought. They thought, they supposedly, like, he thought he had a disease where he was going to die or something. I don't think that's the case. Mm. That's so funny. What if he had all these kids thinking he had that disease? <laughs> and now he's he like, oh, I need a, disease. I need a, yeah, I need to something. I don't, I forgot what it was or huh. what specific it was, but. Mm. Well, guys, um, it's been a weird one. This was a good one. No, it, it was just, we had a lot of good conversation. Yeah. Covered a lot of things. We did cover a lot of ground. <laughs> yeah, we did cover a lot of things. Um, I would like to thank our sponsors, Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any sponsors, man. People don't fuck with us, for real. People love the podcast. But like, yo, like, sponsor us, dog. Like, come, like, you know. Like Y files or somebody like that, come fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? We need guests too, man. We let people come on here and yeah, bring that fish on here. Is we it... can get the Y files guy. Oh my god, I like that guy. that guy. I like him a lot too. Yeah. I like I like Neil. I like you know what I'm saying. I like a couple of these guys, man. Come talk to us, man. We're cool. We could probably get Neil. You think we can get Neil? I, we could probably get Neil. Oh, I would fucking lose my shit. If we got it. <laughs> that would be a three hour podcast. Yeah, I'd like to talk to him. He was on trigonometry and he kind of got roasted for what he said on trigonometry. Yeah, but, but I thought still, it was a good conversation. I yeah. would never roast Neil. <laughs> you know what? Neil the like the kind of dude that my aunt used to date back in the day. I always be a guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, tell your auntie Neil I said. Yeah, right on, young blood. Like, you know, Neil the like, he got a big ass motorcycle with them big ass radios on it. <laughs> Did they, Janae, Neil, uh, Neil, Neil deGrasse. How you say his name? Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson, yeah. Neil deGrasse Tyson. He is like 
the expert on everything we talk about. Like, you know what I'm saying? All the shit we like, he knows about it. Well, he knows about... Okay, I'll roast Neil a little bit. He knows about astrophysics. Yeah, astrophysics. There you go. Right. He's very skeptical on pretty much everything else, which I think to a fault. We're not going to go into We can get into it later in the call. Man, he's talking about life on other planets, man. Neil's just, man... Yeah, it's something I wanted to tell you, too. I forgot. It was something about... The carbon dating of this planet. The Earth? Mm-hmm. Are you still on it? The Earth is only 600,000 years listen, old? Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> We're not going to do it. <laughs> no. All I'm saying is, if the Earth is all these billions of years, there's a huge chance that civilizations have gone way beyond us and our technology. And if that's the case... Everybody reaches a point where I think they leave here. And then Earth just starts over with the new shit. Not if they don't have thumbs. Because we might not even be the smartest uh, creatures on this planet, but we got thumbs. Dolphins don't have thumbs, so they're just smart and swimming. Okay, wait, what? They don't have thumbs. They don't have opposable thumbs. Like, we can do stuff. Because we have thumbs. We don't have flippers or fins. But or they, they can't like they, they can't, can't make go. a computer. They but they look at us like look at them thumbs, but they can't oh, do this. <laughs> See, they're wiser. They have wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> they can flip in the water. But they, they can, can swim so fast. Like they can swim faster than we can run on our shit. But they can't hold a pencil and write something down. Who gives a fuck? They can go from Australia. They can swim. Like, put it like this. This, this is all I'm gonna say. It's more water on the planet than it is land. So if you're a master of the water, who cares if you can write with a pencil? But you... then how do they leave the planet? How do they, how they have to make a ship to leave the planet? And they have to write stuff down so that, because in our lifetimes, we can't accumulate all the knowledge. We, we to have to write stuff on. down. Like, they have frequency control, right? Like, dolphins and whales have knowledge beyond... What we can see, they understand things. They could fuck around. Like, we don't know. We don't know what they can build. There are fish that can light themselves up. That's true, but they can't build a ship. Yeah. Now, Star Trek Four. we should watch Star Trek Four and then reconvene after. Mm-hmm. After, when, when, they, when they talk to the dolphins and stuff? Yeah, when they talk to the whales. Yeah, the whales, yeah. I mean, because, I mean, and that makes sense. Hmm. But no, I don't think you're wrong. I don't think you're wrong. Like, what about cephalopods? They don't need thumbs. They can make a thumb out of anything. That's actually a good argument. I think if anything, it's, it's the cephalopod, cephalopod could be absolutely. like all of these are thumbs now. Yep. yep. Okay. Oh, you got an it octopus there. could build a rocket ship if it had. That's true. Easy. An octopus yeah. could. Yeah. And so if the octopus worked, but like we work side by side with other land species. Oh, wait a minute. The fucking Bigfoot they found. Oh yes, yeah, someone that sent me was that a good video. video. What do y'all think? I I hope they got him. Here go the thing. We knew it was coming because all of the fucking 4K cameras are out now. Mm-hmm. We knew that it was going to come eventually. Right? There's a, I'm going to shout out. There's someone actually who sent me this video and I completely forgot. Yeah. Colorado tourists share video of what appears to be Bigfoot. A Bigfoot sighting. Did they zoom in? Yeah, they zoom in, right? I saw this. On the video? They're on a train, right? Yeah. This looks good, man. This looks good. It's like, who would be out there and why? Unless it's not just to for this, do this. Just to do this shit. Nikki sent me this video. Wait, what is going on? I don't want to watch the Gaza War right now. Come on. Let's just bring, bring the whole mood down. Let's so, see about oh, there he is. From. Yeah. See, this is the problem with our species, And he though, sat somebody... right down in that shit to he's, blend in. He's taking a shit. That's what he's you think he's taking a shit? Definitely. You think he went all the way out there very... to take a shit? I think that's a spot. Yeah. <laughs> but this is the problem with our species is that there's a you know more than zero percent chance that somebody would do that just for that video just so they to go it. viral. I it's hate to mess it. with people. On but it. I'm going to choose to believe that that is big too fun. well with that environment. It looks though. good. Yeah, it looks really good. Color grading, bro. <laughs> no, Come for on the video. Here. Yeah. What? Yes. Don't I've bring done color it. grading. I've those. done it in photo. I've made grass turn brown to match with the woman's outfit. You know, people do that all the time. Come on, guys. Yeah, but no, this is just some random person on a train. My skeptical side is saying that maybe somebody did that so that somebody on that train would see them and they're just messing with people. Tony, I ain't gonna lie to you. As a video person, you don't think this video is a little too stable 
on a train? Oh, no, not with the new iPhone stabilizer. Yeah, what yeah. you mean? It's Zoomed this? in? I don't know, guys. Yeah, and you can stabilize it in post. You can that's stabilize it after. That's what I'm saying. Why would you stabilize it in post? Look, it's shaking a little bit. Uh, it's just panning a little bit. Is that what it's called? I don't know. The technical term. No, man. It's, I, it's a little too still. I think this is a good... I think this is good. I'm going to choose good, to put my three bro. Somebody's going to come out and be like, yeah, this is what we did. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so they true. always do that, Somebody's though. That Indian and then you can't believe them, though. Right. You can't believe anybody. Anything I'm just saying, if real. they can show the proof, and be like, this is the footage right here. We did this. Da, 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 da. It's the location where we did it. Could it be a hunter? You know they wear Oh, like in a ghillie suit? Yeah, they wear the outfits and they got the grass on I don't them. think so. I've seen nah. this like zoomed in and it looks it looks good. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Man. So I was up in uh, Tacoma a couple of weeks ago when I was on tour and I saw a lot of tall ass people. It's weird, like abnormally tall white men up in Seattle. Mm-hmm. And, then it, and then that's also Bigfoot country. Um, what's that, what's that with feral mountain people? Feral mountain people? Yeah. Are those Appalachians? Yeah, like Appalachian people. There's... I don't, don't want to be like racist against Appalachians. I'm just asking, are, are you talking about Appalachians? I'm not you saying that. You said Appalachians? Appalachians. <laughs> like the Appalachian. Appalachians. Oh, Appalachian. <laughs> I'm like, oh, these are, wait, Appalachian? <laughs> Appalachia. Appalachia. Appalachian Mountain people. Okay, okay. Apple, I, I, I thought he's like apple flavored Asian people. Like, damn, that's what you said. They got <laughs> next some little fruit snacks, <laughs> big ass heads, Appalachians. I don't know, man. Yeah, and if you fly over, like I remember, I took a flight from Seattle, just basically straight east, and you fly over that big wilderness. Yeah. And on a good day, you can kind of like really just see how vast it vast is. It is. Yeah. It's hard for me to say that it's impossible. Man, it's they like sell this. Bigfoot like paraphernalia at the airport because that's just that country. And yeah. people are having sightings up there and they don't talk about it. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, I also saw these birds yesterday. And there's like some AI pictures maybe, but like they look like they, like, like the feathers was moving. They were like people birds. Like big ass white, big bird looking people. You gotta, you gotta send that I off. gotta fucking yeah. find it. God damn it. I'm always... Or we can... Because next week we should talk about cuttlefish too. Okay. You know how oh, smart little, cuttlefish yeah. are? Yeah, I mean, they're octopus, basically. I mean, they're, they're kind of octopus, they're squids, but. Squids, yeah. You know, they, they can camouflage themselves not just color, but texture. Yeah. Dude. They can make their skin like rocky, phosphorescent. They like, yeah. they put on light shows to hypnotize other things. And these scientists put them through like a maze. You can watch the thing go through a maze where it's got to like pick up this thing to yep. move this thing. It's crazy. No, they're smart as fuck. But see, my thing is like, dog, uh, like. They have, uh, I was reading this thing where uh, there's talking about how an alien crash landed somewhere, I forgot the city, and a guy picked up one of the beings to try to carry it to get um, studied, like mm-hmm. a small little baby one, and whatever was on his skin, on the, the alien skin, seeped into the man's skin, and it was too foreign. He died like hours later, mm. because the whatever was in that thing was too foreign for his body to even understand how to fight it or what to do how they have a response to it or anything. It's like, man, there's some shit going on. Well, yeah, they say, like, that's that's going to be a, if if and when we make alien contact. Like, whenever two cultures meet, if they don't go to war immediately, there are conflicting oh, they, sicknesses they can, and stuff. They'll go to war and get sick. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not either or. Both of it can happen. Um, but, yeah, I believe it. That's mm. why I'm glad COVID happened because now we know if you see some weird gooey thing, don't touch it directly. <laughs> Put gloves on. You think COVID came from an alien? No, no, no. I just saying it helped us learn about contagion. COVID could be alien type shit too. Could be. A lot of this shit. There was a sexual transmitted disease called Blue Waffle that came out like 20 years ago in health class and then they never talked about it ever again. That was some cap. You remember that? Yeah. No, it wasn't in health class though. It was an internet thing. No, I, I, I felt like they talked about it at like as a joke for me when I was in high school that shit was a, it was a, like a joke like it's not a real thing it was, I thought Blue Waffle was some real shit cause it <laughs> nah. was like that's how, I was like you know what I might retire from fucking it if if, 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 if they're coming out with breakfast you, you have some fucking breakfast dick running around here blueberry dick oh, you'll be fucked up uh, yeah, they had blue waffle. Was it was it real or not? You looking it up? Yeah, I'm looking at it, and people. That's a, I think it was an internet thing, bro. For real? Yeah. Well, goddamn it, they got me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I, you, know, hey, you know that's how I be sometimes. 
I be believing shit, man. I am a believer. Tell me something and I will spread it. Oh, yeah, those people say it's not real. It's not real? Okay, cool. Yeah, I think I think it was some alien shit. I think somebody had fucked one of them aliens, got blue waffle, we <laughs> killed them, and then we didn't even hear about it no more. <laughs> and then everybody pretended it was a joke and now you were being gaslit. Mm hmm. Now I'm being gaslit. That's yeah. It. Oh, the government gaslit all the time. You didn't see no aliens. You didn't see nothing. It shows you in the computer lab. Oh my God, that was a wild time. Yeah, Blue Waffle was crazy. That Blue Waffle was crazy. And don't even get me started on Red Pancake. That's what Sexy Red got. It's like, nah. I know, Tom, I know we're supposed to talk about Sexy Red today. We'll, yeah, next time. Just that, now I feel like I'm being gaslit. Drake really? put se- Drake put Sexy Red on his, like. He, Did she, you hear the song? Yeah, she it's couldn't a, be. It's a fucking smash hit. What? It's Bend that song. ass over. It's a good song. Let that coochie breathe. But why doesn't she sound like she's trying to sing or be melodic in any way? How Take that ass, she's... bitch. Hands on your knees. It's, it's just from. shows she's anybody can Louis. be famous without the talent usually yeah, necessary but it's like, to get famous. But it's like, I feel you. But it's, it's like debatable, it just man. Was it's a, been a, this kind of music's been around for it really has. Forever. Look, I'm not saying about the content of the music. Look, there are people who do that kind of thing really well. She's not even trying to do the art form well. Man, when I was in school, ninth grade, we used to do this dance called Jitting back in Detroit, and you just move your feet real fast, and you know it'd be sweet to say. But they had songs like Booty Ho, and we'd be like Booty Ho, that ass looks. And be like, and, and they had ass and yeah. titties, and it was like, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I'm not at all saying the content is bad, or whatever. I'm just saying she doesn't sound like she's trying to sing. It sounds like I'm listening to somebody doing karaoke of that song. That's that's a good way to say it. That's oh, yeah, she, she can't rap good. That's how she can't rap good. She can't sing good. She doesn't. I don't know what you ever she heard does. Heard of Silk the Shocker? No. What's that? Oh my god! Yeah, you would be very one upset. of the worst rappers ever. He, he He's Master P's little brother. Went platinum. Went platinum a many times. times. All right. Could not it's say a, on it's a, a beat. It's to a save regional. His life. It's a it's a hundred percent a regional thing. Maybe it's a it's a regional thing. A hundred percent. It Wait, is. You saying people in St. Louis can't stay on beat? That doesn't make any sense. That's not true. That's not what I'm saying. I'm from the south. I'm saying it's like. When, when you're from the South, there's different things that people do to music that other people are not going to care about or like, and then right. somebody else will take it, and then they'll put their little spin on it, and then it's like, oh, I see now. I get it. It's I always been lie. a thing. Yeah, uh, Chopped and Screwed. Yeah. That's like, that was a that was a huge thing. thing. And it was like, what are they doing? Like, like They're taking the song and slowing it down, but they're not just slowing it down because it's still on beat. Like, it's still on the beat. Yeah. There's a lot of people now that that are taking like Detroit sound and like flipping it into like a whole different thing. Like they're taking these beats. It's like that sound is from Detroit for sure. And then they'll flip it and then it'll be like an Atlanta dude rapping on it, or a New York dude rapping on it, or an LA dude rapping on it. And then it'd be like, oh, that's cool. We like that. And then it's like that's the origin, like where it originally came from. And then it'll just keep blossoming. The thing that Sexy Red is doing, she's like bringing back the 2009 era of like Gucci Man and Waka Flocka. And that Juvenile. sound, yeah, all that sound that that people use and they these crazy hard beats and it's like why is this woman rapping on here talking about ski and pound town like that's absurd but again take away take away all that yeah i'm talking about that's her, that's how she, she talks. sounds really she sounds like somebody gave her a microphone for the very first time and she's doing this song for the very first time she, like she, it doesn't i sound... wouldn't say i wouldn't say she's like super experienced as far as like trying to like rapping but that's how she talks then how did she get on the a Drake album. You'd be because surprised at how many people Drake Drake famous. has to pay attention to those yeah, kind of things. Yeah, she, she's a trend, bro. But the thing is, uh. she built. She, it's not like somebody pushed her out. It's like she was doing this stuff for so long. She mm-hmm. has music that she did years ago that she went viral for. And SZA makes the song so good too. She comes in and just sounds sound like an angel over <laughs> coochie talk. <laughs> Let that coochie breathe. Oh no no! I'd be like, man, this song, man. And it has the drum sounds of like a '90s song. Like yeah. it's, it's what it's the old. It sounds like boy, you should know. Yeah, it made me want to just. But it doesn't sound like you're listening to somebody do karaoke. Not to me. Poorly. I've I've listened I, maybe because I just listened to so much of this kind of music. I used to be that kind of person too. My favorite rapper is Jay Z. I can't listen to these fools. And then living in Atlanta make you be like. God damn it, this shit is catchy. <laughs> it, it it fucking works. I can't de- I can't deny. And Man. one of my favorite rappers was Lil Wayne. Like yeah. nobody would really yeah. rock with him like that either. And Wayne would do the same thing though. Wayne would do the same thing Sexy Red doing, not in the way she's doing it. I would never disrespect Weezy like that. But wait, like those old mixtapes, he'd take somebody's song and go ham on it. He don't care what song it was. Mm-hmm. You gotta keep your ear to it's you like it, it'd be crazy to be like, oh, you, Drake, but it's like it kind of makes sense. Like and Wayne she's gonna get Drake picked up to by, by somebody like that to I mean. The Pound Town song had Nicki Minaj on the remix. She's the biggest female artist of all time. You had Nicki Minaj on the remix. That's a big deal. 
Yeah. So it's not like she wasn't getting looks. Like people were finding this stuff and everybody's like, oh, I hate it. It sucks. And so this then, is why I feel like I'm being gaslit because I'm like, everything you're saying, I get. Yeah. But I've I'm also heard. like, it's, but it's when you listen thing. to her voice, it's a taste. It thing. doesn't like you, sound like she's trying to I've perform. I've never anything. heard somebody say that that coochie breathe. It was like, <laughs> wow. That And that's the thing about it. It's like, it's just like, wow. Why, how did you, why didn't anybody else say yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> because you don't want to. Don't. What you mean? But it but the just thing is, it's like, good. don't Why be so practical. Don't. Like what? That's what makes it. That's what makes it crazy. <laughs> about to breathe, that's ain't what, it? But you, you do it like crazy. you know, you're in the sun or whatever. But what, you're gonna let your coochie breathe in front of other people. And I agree. Let, let it's, a, it's a dance song, so it's like, yeah, bend that ass over. Let that coochie, let that coochie breathe. breathe. You gotta relax. That, yeah. You gotta relax. You came to be tense. I don't want to be around someone letting their coochie breathe on a dance. Oh, I agree. I agree. I will agree. But, I agree with but, that part, but, but here's it in the song. Start, that's, that's, if she starts coming out with these coochie mitts with altoids, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now she's a, that's a business move right there. Been that right. ass over. Let that coochie breathe with a Mentos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we out of here, man. This is another episode of the CP Podcast, man. The squad is in here, man. Tony, Amir, Maya's back, man. It's your boy, man. See y'all next week. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We out of here. Peace.